I have heard that there is a lot of changes coming uh, again to Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery class tuning in coming 28th of February, which is in a few days from now, obviously, here, man. Druids are gonna get some massive buffs, actually, guys. Pretty insane. Life Plume mana cost reduced by 50%. And it refunds half of its new base mana per stack when it expires or is dispelled. Yeah. Living Seed heals for 50% of the critical heal that planted a seed was 30%. The heal now blooms from non-periodic healing received, in addition to any damage taking. Nourish mana reduced by 27%. And Moonkin form, this is the biggest one, I believe. Moonkin form now, now also reduces the mana cost on Moonfire by 50%. And increases Moonfire's periodic damage by 50% as well. Sunfire also benefits from this as well. They can also cast non-restorative spells without cancelling their shapeshift. So Curse, Poison, Abolish, Innervate, Rebirth, Revive, Buffing and everything. This is insane. Like, for PvP, that is a crazy buff. This is also really huge, obviously, for PvE, because, you know, reduced mana cost on healing is, is crazy, crazy good. But... That's ridiculous. That means you don't have to leave Moonkin form with all the bonus armor to like, you know, decurse and despell and stuff like that. That's absolutely nuts. Fury the Storm Rage improved when this one make, makes healing touch instant. It also makes castable in all shapeshift forms. Wait. So when you get Fury of the Storm Rage like proc or whatever it is, you can also heal in Moonkin form? Bro, that's insane. What? And in cat? Yeah, I guess you can heal in cat and bear and everything. That's... Okay, this is insane. <laughs> what? So just across the board, massive buff to druids, I guess. Yo, it's Melt. Thank you for the eight months as well. You can go into defensive and heal. Yeah, that's ridiculous. For PvP, this is... I insane. Okay. Dual wheel specialization no longer grants a 30% damage bonus to Raptor Strike for wielding two weapons of the same type. Okay, so a pretty... Yeah, actually, a, pre a pretty big nerf to Hunter, Melee Hunter. Um, I, I, th I still think Melee Hunters are going to be great. I don't think they're going to be horrible uh, by any means. But this is definitely a pretty hefty nerf. Because Raptor Strike and, uh, I guess, Flanking Strike is their biggest damage, right? Pretty much. Paladin, Crusader Strike now deals holy damage instead of physical, ignoring all armor. And is affected by holy damage prevention. And it's still considered a melee attack. So Paladins ignore armor now with uh, Crusader Strike. Okay. Seal of no longer trigger out of war. I will no longer be triggered by Frost or other weapon procs. Okay. So I would say this is a buff to at least red Paladins, right? If they can go through armor with that at least. Rogue, it no longer affects by the global cooldown. Redirect this to stuff with po combo points. Where you can go a combo point to another combo point. Like for uh, different uh, targets, right? So I guess a buff to the to the tank rogue mainly. Main gauge now generates three combo points on your target and base energy cost reduced by 15. Okay, just a flesh wound in threat redi increased and rogue tanks will generate approximately 30% more threat. Okay, so rogue tank buffs as well. Crusader ignores armor and paladins are still crying. I mean, we are WoW players. All we do is cry. Let's be honest, Mufford. Here comes the interesting one for me at least. Shaman, two-handed mastery rune, now provides 10% increased attack power and 10% chance to hit with spells after hitting a target with a two-handed weapon. So two-handed uh, shaman uh, buff? This is really, really, really big. So more attack power and then we get the, um, this, the spell hit. This is really nice because of Maelstrom weapon, right? Because Maelstrom weapon gives you the... Uh, the chance, or like the the increased proc chance to have like the the free cast, right? Like five stacks of a maelstrom weapon, you get a free cast, and this makes that you actually will hit. This is really good for shamans. Shamanistic rage now grants five percent of the shaman's maximum mana per second instead of a scaling value from attack power, spell power, or healing. I would say overall, this is a buff. This means that you don't have to swap back and forth and you don't have to run Rockbiter to get mana. Because normally you would have to go double Rockbiter weapon on Shaman. And you would have to like then equip those weapons to up your attack power and then get the mana. You don't need to, to weapon swap. Uh, Shamanistic Rage is I believe 10 seconds. Uh, I believe it's 10 seconds. 15 seconds. 
This means you're gonna get 75% of your mana with Shamanistic Rage. 75% of your max mana, no matter what. That is massive buff, okay. Spirit of the Alpha Rune now grants the casting Shaman 20% increased attack power if they cast a spell on a target other than themselves. So there's actually a reason to, to cast this on other players rather than just like be like a buff bot. Okay, this is like big buffs for enhancement. All of this is really big buff for enhancement. And, and I guess this is really big for elemental too, this shamanistic rage stuff. With weapon swap, you get like 150% of your mana though. I think overall this is a buff. Overall. Uh, yo, what's up, Skrakampf? Earth shield mana reduced by 67 and charge increased from six to no from three to nine. So a lot more. Okay, earth shield, big buff for that too. The base amount heal now uh, properly scales with level and is about 50% higher than previously at level 40. So big buffs to this as well. Power surge tooltip revised to clarify functionality. Okay, fair enough. And then some ancestral guidance reduced to one minute was two minutes. Okay, massive buffs to shaman across the board. Healing, elemental and enhancement buffs. And massive buffs to druids for healing and PvP. No more again. The increased armor value of certain mechanical bosses in No More Again has been reduced slightly. The higher armor values on certain mechanical enemies in No More Again was correct and intended, but we adjust the armor on Crop Pummeler and uh, the Thermoplug boss slightly to provide a 10% increase in physical damage received. Depending on modifiers present, we also checked the mechanical menagerie and it is using the correct armor values. Okay. So melee's physical damage is going to be stronger no more again uh, from the 28th of February. Big PvP buffs for Druid. This is nuts, by the way. Like the Moonkin form stuff is fucking crazy. Uh, Shaman's eating very, very good. This is also a big buff for Warrior, for all the Warrior enjoyers. You're gonna do a lot more damage because less armor equals more more damage equals more rage equals more rage equals more damage equals happy me, All right? So that's good. Where's the ranged hunter buffs? Good question. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna buff hunters, but they they are slowly changing stuff. I feel like okay. If you want my take on it, I think all the I think the shaman changes are needed for sure. I think that they were a little bit lackluster in that department, but this is pretty nuts. For PvP, that's <laughs> that's pretty freaking nuts. Like Moonkin forms being able to like remove curse poison and also heal with the storm rage thing. That's crazy. I mean, we'll see how it pans out though. Range hunters are fine though. Melee hunters were just OP. Yeah, I think I, I think uh, I think so too. I don't think range hunters are terrible. I think they're okay, but melee hunters were just ridiculous, right? Back to nuking people with sunfire like early phase one. I guess so.